what is up you guys welcome back to the channel welcome here if you are new today you guys we are going to be doing my sinking funds update for the month of june yes i know you guys are probably so sick of seeing the month of june videos because i've been uploading them back to back i'm super super sorry you guys but that is kind of what we're dealing with right now i promise you guys i will be getting the july videos up as soon as possible but for now we are going to be doing the june videos with all that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video because I kind of want to fly through it. I'm uploading all these videos back to back and I'm already so tired. So I have my setup right here, all my cash envelopes and my giant calculator. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the household envelope here. We started the month with $200 and we are ending the month with 100, 200, 50, 70, 90. Okay, you guys, so $290, that's a positive $90 difference. So instead of um, putting the plus or minus with the black pen, I'm actually gonna do it in red and green. So if we were saving for the month, we are gonna write it in green. And if we went in negative, we are gonna use a red marker, okay? So just because I don't like seeing all the plus and minus signs, I'm kind of weird like that. So we're gonna color code it this time, all right? So like I said, we are ending the month with $290 for household and that's a positive $90 difference so we're gonna go ahead and write 900 oh my gosh why did I write 900 you guys I meant to put 90 I wish 900 let me get my white out and I'll be right back that is what I get for not paying attention you guys okay that's good enough so like I said $90 you guys I am so sorry we wish it was 900 right so it was a 90 dollar positive difference all right moving on you guys so that is it for household let's move on to my envelope here amy and let's see we have 20 40 60 80 90 100 110 so we're at a balance of 110 dollars okay so let's go ahead and write that in we have 110 dollars and that is actually a $20 difference, you guys. So let's go ahead and write 20. So we were able to save 20 bucks for my envelope for the month of June. By the way, you guys, I know I do have all of the um, updated trackers in the back, but for the sake of the video, we are counting the actual money because I know some people prefer that. So instead of just reading this off and writing it down, um, most people prefer, or I don't know, you guys let me know, but I have seen from my past videos that a lot of people prefer me to count the actual money that they enjoy seeing it so that's why we're doing it this way all right so for truck maintenance you guys we have one two three hundred twenty thirty so we're at three hundred and thirty dollars you guys for truck maintenance so let's go ahead and write that in three thirty i don't know why i'm such a mess with writing you guys so so let's see 330 minus 305 is 25 bucks you guys so we saved 25 dollars for the month of june for truck maintenance pretty cool you guys so there we go moving on to business you guys we started the month with 45 dollars and we are ending the month with a 50 so we saved five bucks this month for business okay so let's go ahead and write that here we saved $5 and we ended with a balance of 50 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Okay. YouTube, we got nothing. We got nothing. Okay. So I'm putting two dashes there. All right, you guys, moving on to my sinking funds here. We're going to start off with pets. For pets, we have $200. Okay. Let's go ahead and write that in. We have 200 and that should be a difference of $20. So we saved $20 this month, okay? There we go. All right, moving on to vacation. Let's see if we made any progress in vacation for the month of June. We are at 125. So we're at a balance of 125, you guys, which means that we did not make any progress this month for the vacation envelope, that is okay, that is okay. So we're just gonna write here that it remained 125. We're gonna put a dash through it because we did not make any growth, okay? 
Moving on to Christmas, birthdays, and holidays here. We have 100, 20, 40, 65. So 165 for Christmas, birthdays, and holidays. Okay. So let's go ahead and write that here. 165. And let's do 165 minus 140. Oh, I don't know what happened. Sometimes my um, calculator like spazzes out. Like you see how I'm clicking and nothing is happening? That is so weird, you guys. So let's try this again. 165 minus 140. Oh my God, it's spazzing. Hold on. All right, you guys, so that's something new. My calculator decided to break while I was in the middle of filming, so yay, I love that for me. So we're gonna do it this way on paper. I still wanna subtract everything so I can show you guys how it's being done. I know some of you guys actually don't know, like, understand how this is working because you guys are so used to using the calculator. So we're gonna do it this way just for the sake of the video. Um, this is obviously 25. It's very, very simple, but I'm still gonna show you guys, so. Okay, 165 minus 140, we bring the five down. Six minus four is two, one minus one is zero. Okay, so we have $25. So that's a positive 25 that we were able to save. So let's go ahead and write that in. 25, and there we have it. So, wow, that's crazy, you guys. I have to get a new calculator. Um, usually I use like another phone, and I use the calculator that's in the phone, but the phone is dead, and I didn't charge it before filming because like I said, I've been gone for a couple weeks, so um yeah so that's why it actually died and now i'm just having to do it like this so moving on let's see what we have in teeth we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 20 40 60 80 so we are at a balance of 880 for um teeth envelope so yay us look at us go so let's go ahead and write this in we are at a balance of 880 so let's go ahead and write 880 here. And that's a positive $80. So we are at an $80 incline. So yay, good for us, you guys, good for us. All right, and then the last couple envelopes, I believe there was no growth. So we're just gonna count it and make sure. And then we're gonna total everything up. So let's see what we have for taxes. We have 50, 70, 85, 86, 87. Yeah, so it's exactly the same as when we started the month. So let's go ahead and write that in here. We're gonna write 87, cause it's the same amount. Put a cross through it, cause we did not save anything. Let's see, car tags is still at 40 bucks. As you can see here, we have two 20s. So that's gonna remain 40 as well with a cross through that. And lastly, school is at a balance of 30 bucks because we have a 20 and a 10 in here, as you can see here. So that is gonna remain 30 and we're gonna put a cross through that as well. So here we go, 30 and putting a cross through that. So since my calculator died, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and write all of this on here and add it up. I'm gonna do it off camera just so I don't waste any more of my um, memory on my phone and I will get back to you guys as soon as I'm done. So bear with me and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I just quickly cross-checked it. I got 2,042, and I quickly tried to do it on my calculator before it starts flickering on me again, and I got the same amount. So we actually did this right, so yay us. So let's go ahead and write that in here. We're at a balance of $2,042, holy cow. And that was what we started with, with the month of um, June, okay? So now let's do ending. Let me see if I can do this on my calculator really quick and see if it works, so. Uh, let me do this and I will get right back to you guys.
All right, you guys, so we actually ended up with $2,307, so that is a substantial amount of growth. I'm really, really happy with that amount, you guys. So typically what we can do is take $2,307 and subtract it by 2042, and you will get your total here. For the sake of the video, we're gonna add all this up so that you guys can see how much progress we've made. So here we go, we have 90 plus 20 plus 25 plus five plus 20 plus 25 plus 80 and that gives us $265 we're gonna cross check this by taking $2,307 and subtract that by 2042 and we end up with $265 so here we go we made a progress of 265 bucks for this month you guys so or i'm sorry for the month of june so there you have it i really really hope that this was beneficial for you guys um maybe this is a type of progress tracking that you would like to do for your own budget and um maybe this video was helpful to you so i really hope that it was even if it was for just um entertainment purposes i still hope that you guys learned something new or just enjoyed watching with all that being said thank you so much for joining me for today's video once again please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you guys can get notified every time i post thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys